Good morning. How amazing to get to wake up to all this rain this morning. Just if you really think about what water is to us as a human and then to the planet, it's pretty miraculous. The water is life. The body is 70% water. The planet is 70% water. And without water, we just can't exist. So just embracing the rain, it's keeping you inside, which is exactly where we need to be today in this space. We need to be inside, take it inside. But we're all out of our routine, so it's pretty challenging. So just for me personally, and maybe this will help you if um, just maybe make a little list of five things that you'll commit to doing each day. And maybe they're different things. You have all this abundance of time on your side right now to do the things that you've always wanted to do. So read a book, do a puzzle, um, journal, start a meditation practice. It's brilliant just to find a place for just 10 minutes to Take yourself to your breath, your prana, just ignite that fire within the belly. Um, so there's just an abundance of things to do um, and who gets this fabulous opportunity to have all this time to just be home, be still, be within yourself, within your heart. Um, it is just, it really is a blessing. So I, I look at this as a blessing as an, and as an opportunity, so I'm hoping that you're embracing it. I'm so happy to um, be able to continue to practice yoga and present yoga um, to you in this virtual live setting, which is very intimidating, very scary. So I come to you with a lot of vulnerability this morning, but a lot of compassion and love and kindness. So just take yourself to a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. Just close your eyes and just feel your body relax. So it's early in the morning, probably not a lot of movement has taken place within you yet. So we're gonna start out slow. Um, this is a more energetic, vigorous uh, yoga flow practice today. Um, so as you move through the practice, just absorb what you can and please let everything else go. There is no judgment in a yoga practice. This is just what you can experience, what the experience feels like for you, for your body. It's gonna be different for everyone. Our bodies are all completely different. When I take myself to a practice, um, sometimes I challenge myself and, and do a practice that I know is kind of above my, above my level of physicality just based on my current physical situation. But I just move through it anyway because it feels good to just try. So close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. taking that soft inhalation through the nose and allow the breath to exhale through the nose at the same length. So just find in this rhythm within your inhale and within your exhale. Compassion. As you move through your practice today, may you find some compassion for yourself, for your practice, for the planet. The world is certainly different, and isn't this the blessing? It is your response to the now that matters the most to the current situation. We now have this time, this moment, this hope, this compassion, and compassion changes everything. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice, take a moment to just settle in on that. An intention keeps you focused as you move through your asanas or postures. Maybe 
For me, my intention will be compassion. I meet my current situation with loving kindness. I am compassionate. With your eyes closed, take three more deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. One more breath. Bring the hands to the center of your heart in prayer and just feel the thumbs press through the center of your chest as you keep your spine long. Open your eyes, take an unfocused gaze off the top of the mat. One breath through the nose, exhale through the mouth, inhale. Open the mouth, exhale it out. We're just gonna roll forward and come into Tadasana. So start in a forward fold. Press all four corners of your feet into the mat. Push the hips back. It's early in the morning, so the hamstrings are a little tight. A soft bend in the knees, and then root to rise. So push your feet into the earth as you take your arms all the way up. Inhale, reach up, lift up. Bring the hands together in prayer, and just take your attention right at your thumbs. So just taking your gaze up. As you exhale, bring your hands to the center of your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, side out. Side out as you take it all the way down. Just dropping the hands to the mat. Relax the head. So just allow your crown chakra, that very center part of your head, to just fall down into the earth, into Mother Earth. And just looking for a moment of stillness here before we move. And then maybe it'll feel good to just grab opposite elbows and just allow the weight of your head to pull your hips up and your hamstrings back. So just relax into this breath. This breath, this moment, this time, this blessing. On your exhale, drop the hands down, bend the right knee, take the right hand forward, and just lift the left arm up. So we're starting just in this delicious twist in the side body. The right knee bent, left arm all the way up. As you inhale, feel the belly inflate. As you exhale, feel the belly relax. Take the left hand down, bend the left knee, and reach the right arm up. Just lifting up. Finding that space in the side body. Exhale, release. Push down to the feet, take a deep breath, inhale, reach up. Interlace the fingers, point the fingers to the sky, and then take that beautiful side stretch over to the right. Bring the elbows back to the ears. That's it, only love is real. Now to take it through center. Find a little space as you reach up and then take it over to the left. Just feel a length in the right side body. Inhale to take it back to center. Bring the hands to the heart. Exhale forward, fall. Create a little space in the spine. Come halfway up. And then exhale, fold. Step back into 
your downward facing dog. So just take a moment of stillness before you even wake up your dog. Just take a moment of stillness, pushing the feet, heels down, maybe even lifting the toes, pulling the belly button in super tight and pushing the fingers forward on the mat. Relax the head, but activate the arms and activate the legs. Now take a deep bend in the right knee. Lift the heel if you want to. Just looking for space in the side. Breathe it into the hamstrings. And then just switch sides. Take a deep bend in the left knee. Pushing the right heel down. Release that out. Inhale to elevate both heels. Bring the knees forward and just keep them floating off the mat. So you're in this hovering tabletop position. Engage the core. Keep the neck long. Think power. And then drop the knees down. Maybe untuck the toes. Readjust your hands so they're underneath the shoulders. And we're going to go through a cat-cow, but we're going to go super slow. So we're going to start at the base of the spine, move through the low back, middle of the back, upper back, so I want you to take the breath just at the base of the spine. Inhale, gaze up, just move the spine, don't move the head. And then exhale, find some flexion. Just a little tiny tilt of the back. It's super subtle. And if you haven't ever tried this before, it's gonna feel a little awkward. So just lift the tailbone and then tuck it. And now we take it to the lower back. So now you're engaging the tailbone and the lower back at the same time. We're gonna roll up through the spine and then round. So engaging a little bit as we go and round. Take it to the middle of the back. So a little more extension, engaging tailbone, lower back, mid back, round. One more. And round. Take a deep breath, inhale, look all the way up. So full cow, inhale. As you exhale, really round, flex through the whole spine as you come into cat. Should feel really good. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round it out. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round. One more, inhale. And exhale. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Inhale to elevate the heels, bend the knees a lot, gaze forward, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, come halfway up. And fold. Root to rise, take it all the way up. Exhale, hands to the center of the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Take the left leg back, drop the left knee down, and then inhale for your low lunge. Reach up. Sink it into the left hip flexor. Just breathe. Bring the hands back to the ground. So watch my left toe. I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna take it over to the side. Right hand on the quad and then take the left arm up. So really push the right knee forward. And then maybe float the left hand down and the right arm up. So this beautiful length, and the hips, inner thigh, back, just settle in, relax the head. Use your core strength to come out Untuck the toes, bring the hands down, straighten out the right leg. You can pop those toes if you want. Pretty tight in the morning. Inhale to take it back to center. Push the left heel back. Step the right leg back so you're in high plank. Hold for a breath. 
On the next breath, take the left leg up and drop the right knee down so you're in your low lunge. And then root to rise, reach up. Push the hips forward, take the head back. Again, we're opening up right here through the hip flexor. Inhale to take it back to center. I'm gonna lift the right toe and take it over to the left side of my mat. Left hand on the quad. Reach the right arm up. And then windmill the right hand down as you take the left arm up. Maybe even gaze back, smile. Just feel the breath, the rhythm of your breath move through your body. Use your core strength to come out. Untuck that back toe, sink back, pop the front toe. Pull the toes back, opening up in the hamstring. Come back into the low lunge, push the right heel back. Step the left leg back, move right into your downward facing thumb. So you should be able to go from down dog right into high plank. Inhale, gaze forward, roll forward, and then just check the positioning of your hands. Make sure they're under your shoulders so you're in this beautiful high plank. Even bring the heels in front of the toes. You can drop the knees down if you need to. Otherwise, use your body strength to take your belly all the way to the mat. Untucking the toes. Your hands are right underneath the shoulders. Make the legs active by pushing the top of the feet into the floor. Inhale, come up into your cobra. And then exhale, just drop the forehead down. So in cobra, we're using the muscles of the lower spine not the fingers, like a push-up. Push the top of the feet into the mat, inhale, come up. Even lift the fingers up to make sure you're engaging the back. And release. Push the top of the feet into the mat to activate the legs. Inhale to come up into a full cobra. See if you can use the pressure of the hands now to get the belly up off the mat. Relax the head. Bend the elbows to the back. Slowly lower yourself all the way down. We're going right into plank. Tuck the toes. Come into your high plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees. Take a big step. Come all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale for space. And then exhale, full. Inhale, fly all the way up. Hands to the heart to close the pose. Reach up. And full. Inhale for length. Exhale, full. Step back into tabletop. Take the right foot back. And push the toes into the mat to find length in the back of the leg. So looking for length. In that right heel. So if you're pushing back pretty far, your fingers might be in front of the shoulders. So on the breath, lift the toe and readjust so your hands are right underneath the shoulders. And we're going to make these rainbows with our legs. So take the right leg all the way out and then inhale, lift it up, take it all the way over to the left. Lift, take it back. Take it out. One more. And then move into spinal balance. And then bend the knee, reach back, wrap the top of the foot as you move into Eye of the Tiger. Take a breath here. Keep opening. And then just release back into your tabletop push back into child's pose. Just take two breaths here. So finding some space in the spine, round it out. And 
on the inhale, take yourself back into tabletop. Extend the left leg back, push the heel back. Beautiful stretch in the calf. Inhale to move back in, lift the left leg up and then take those rainbows over to the left. So lift the leg all the way up, take it over. Inhale on the lift, exhale on the extension to the other side. Inhale to lift, exhale to extend. One more. Take it into spinal balance, reaching the right arm forward and the left leg back and then bend the left knee, reach back. You might have to drop that knee to the mat, no worries. Grab the foot and then now gaze up. So looking for space in the chest, in the shoulder, in the belly, and the quad. Keep kicking it up. And release, push back, child's pose. Take two breaths. So you're gonna to start to pick up the pace pretty fast. Just stay with what feels good for you. Release any concern of how you get into your asanas. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog, take a deep breath. Inhale into your high plane. Lower yourself, chaturanga. Maybe upward facing dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Inhale to elevate the heels, roll into your plank, take it all the way down. We're gonna do three. Downward facing dog. Last one, inhale, lift, roll, lower, untuck. Downward facing dog. Bend the knees, step all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, lift it up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Step or jump back, high plank. Move into a side plank on the right side by dropping the heels to the right, taking that left arm up. You can modify it by bringing the right knee down. So this is your modification. Otherwise, stay in side plank. Bring the left hand to the hip. Drop the right hip down. Lift the leg, flip the dog. Reach up, reach back, reach over. Inhale, take it back into high plank. We move to the other side, so drop the heels to the left. Float the right arm up, and maybe drop that left knee down if you need to, no worries, just do that. If you're here, bring the hands to the hip. Drop the hips down, take the right foot back, and now flip your dog, reach it up, reach it over. Move back into your high plank, chaturanga. Up, down, downward facing down. On a breath, elevate that right leg so you're in three-legged down. Round the spine and bring the forehead to the knee or the knee to the forehead. Hold it here, hold it here, hold it here, kick it back up. Take it back through, round the spine. So you're looking for some space so you can just step that right leg right through for your high lunge. Adjust the right foot under the knee and then inhale, reach up high lunge. So reach it up, sinking back. We open up into warrior two. Turn the right palm up, bring the left hand behind. Sink into the right knee and take that right arm way up, all the way back. We're gonna build the hands to the top of the mat. Step back into high plank chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the left leg up. Maybe for some more space, you can pop that right heel. And then round forward. Bring in the forehead to the knee and kick it back up, three-legged dog. Round forward, really elevating the spine, looking for the space so you can just step that left leg through. Adjust your hands as necessary as you fly high 
into your high lunge. And then are you smiling? Open up warrior two. Yes, maybe take your gaze off those left fingers and sink deeply into the left knee. Turn the left palm up, tuck the right fingers back. Inhale to reverse your warrior. You can gaze down, you can gaze forward, you can gaze up. Whatever feels good for your head and neck this morning. Feel strength in the arms. Release, windmill the hands to the top of the mat. Step the left foot back, high plank. Moving through your flow, we meet downward facing dog. Bend the knees, step or jump all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale for space. Exhale, fold. Push through the feet. Come all the way up. Close the pose. We're going to melt into Ukatasana chair. So when I say melt, just take it slow. Bring the arms up, melt into your chair. Take your time, and just drop those hips down. Toes and heels together, knees together. Sink it back, feel the space. Now maybe take a peek down, make sure you can see your toes. And if you can't, just shift those hips back any amount. I'm going to bring the arms back and lift the heels. Only if you can, play with the balance. Maybe you want to try one heel at a time. That's cool, that works. And inhale, melt back into your chair. Keep it slow, keep it yummy. On the exhale, bring the arms back. Lift the heels, push the chest forward, open through the heart. Drop those heels, melt into your chair. A little fire in the legs. Drop the hands down, step or jump back into your high plank. Roll through your flow. We meet, downward facing down. So open the feet. And then shorten your dog by walking the hands back. We're just going to take a twist. You're going to take the left hand to the outside edge of the right ankle and then just peek and smile. Push the hips up. Peek and smile. Should feel good. Push the hips back. And the fingers forward. Release. Take the right hand to the outside edge of the left ankle. Push the hips back and then gaze under the left shoulder. And then release. Toe heel in your feet. Inhale to elevate. Bend the knees. Take a big step or jump all the way up to the top of the mat. Inhale for space. And exhale, fold. Reach high to the sky. And close the pose. So you're going to move into that melting chair once again. Float the arms up. Bring the toes together, heels together, knees together. Push the hips back. And when you think you can't go any lower, see if you can even push down another inch. So just really igniting a fire in your whole body. It's a beautiful warm up. Pull the belly button in. Take the gaze down so you can see your toes. Push the hips back one more time. Keep that depth in the sit bones. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and pull the arms back, pointing the pinky fingers to the back wall and inhale, maybe lift one heel, maybe lift both. Melt into your chair. Inhale to lift, exhale to move within that space you just created. Inhale for the space. Exhale, move within. 
If your quads are on fire, then you're doing it right. Inhale to come out. Hold it. Forward fold. Step or jump back. Roll through your vinyasa. We meet downward facing down. So stay in down dog for a couple of breaths. Remember, grab water anytime you need to. Take a break. Child's pose, down dog are a great place for a break. You're thirsty, you might want to grab some water now. We're gonna pick up the pace and move into a bit of a flow. Here we go, downward facing dog, take a deep breath. Lift the right leg up, three-legged dog. Inhale to elevate the left heel. So you're gonna string some postures together. Gaze forward, round the spine, bring the forehead to the knee, and then step that right leg through. Inhale for high lunge, reach up. Pull the arms back, lean the heart through, so shine the heart through, squeezing the shoulder blades together for arrow pose. We're gonna launch off the left toe, bend the left knee and come into standing staff with the hands in prayer at the center of the heart. So inhale, take it up. Hold it here. Pushing all four corners of the right foot down into the earth. Lead with the left heel. Take the left leg back as you move into warrior three. Take it back into your standing staff. And then just drop that left heel down. Shake out the legs, take a deep breath, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Step or hop back, high plank. Your flow. Skip it if you need to. Otherwise, hang with me. Inhale to elevate that left leg for three-legged dog, right heel high to the sky, creating some space, round the spine, forehead to the knee, take it through, take it forward, take it through, hold it, hold it, hold it, step the left leg through, inhale, high lunge. So if you're watching me or re-watching the video, you can see my left leg doesn't step all the way through, um, just due to an old injury but we just make it happen. I drop my knee down, no worries. I just step through, I get in it however I can. So just get into your asanas however you can. Start to shine the heart through, even push the chest through, squeeze the shoulder blades back as you move into arrow pose. We're gonna launch up that right two, or the right, excuse me, right toe for standing staff. Bend the right knee, inhale, take it up, hands, center of the heart, in prayer. So just taking a moment to settle into this balancing posture. On the next breath, push that right heel back as you move into warrior three. Any positioning of the hands that feels good to you. Inhale, take it back into standing staff, bending the right knee. And then just drop the right foot down. Take a deep breath, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Step or jump back into your high plank. Onto the body. With the breath, we meet downward facing dog. So we're gonna add a few more asanas to that flow, but that's the base and you'll Pick it up pretty quickly, take a deep breath, right leg comes up. Just step the right leg all the way through, inhale, high lunge, come on up. Take it through, arrow. Inhale, standing staff. Warrior three. Standing staff. Drop it down, reach up, 
Exhale, move through your flow. We do it again on the other side. Take a deep breath, lift that left leg up. Maybe right heel, round the spine, take that left leg all the way through. High lunge. With the breath, move into arrow. Push the heart through, shine your heart through, shine your leg. Inhale, stand and step, bend the right knee, lift it up. Balance into your warrior three, kicking that heel back. Inhale, standing step. Exhale, drop it down, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Step or jump back, high plank. Downward facing dog, right leg high to the sky, right away. Take it all the way up, inhale, high lunge. So we're going a little quicker because you know it. We're gonna slow down as we add asanas to it. Move through arrow, push the heart through. Take that left knee up, standing step. Warrior three. Standing step. And now we're gonna move into what we call water dancer. Take the arms up. Keep that left knee bent. It's arms back and heel back, but don't move the upper body. So this is called water dancer. Perfect for a rainy day. Inhale, take it through. Exhale, kick the heel back. One more, inhale. Kick it back. Inhale, lift up. Take the left knee over to the side, open up. Warrior two, sink into the right knee. That's it. So adding water dancer in. Inhale, five-pointed star. So toes straight ahead, arms up. We're gonna sink into the left knee and pop the right heel for Skandasana. So take your time coming down if you need to and pop the right toe. If you're feeling pretty strong here, you might play with just reaching those arms out. That's pretty advanced. So you can just keep your hands on the mat. We're gonna to move to the back of the mat. So take your gaze over to the left Sink in to the left knee. You're in runner's lunge. Take the twist, reaching the right arm up. Bring the left hand down. Step back into your high plank, your flow. Up dog, we meet. Downward facing dog. So we're going to do that same flow on the same leg so we can turn around and get back to the top of the mat. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Take the right leg up. So we're on the same side intentionally. Take the right leg to the top of the mat as you move into your high lunge. Reach up. Arrow. Standing staff. Left knee bends. Warrior three. <laughs> Catching the balance. Standing staff. Lift the arms up. Water dancer. Pull the arms back. Push the heel back like you're moving through this beautiful body of water. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, kick the heel. One more. Kick the heel. Take the heel through center. Open the knee. Open up. Warrior two, sinking into the right knee. That's it. Breathe. Maybe taking your gaze off your right fingertips. Inhale, five pointed star, reaching up. Maybe looking up. Same thing, we're going to bend the left knee, pop the right heel. Feel strong. You can use a block if you want to lift your hands up. Maybe bring the hands in prayer at heart center, open your arms out to the side, or just stay here. We're going to rotate to the top of the mat so you're in runner's lunge. Bring the right hand down, float that left arm up so you're taking that beautiful twist. 
in the side body. Step back into your high plank, move through your flow. We will meet in downward facing dog. Two times on the left side, incorporating the new asanas. Take a deep breath, take the left leg up. Left leg to the top of the mat, coming into high lunge. Reach up. Arrow, pull the arms back. Standing staff, bend that right knee, lift it up. Move into warrior three. Standing staff. Take the arms up, water dancer. Move through water by pulling your arms back. Pull the heel back. Inhale, reverse, lift up. Exhale, take it out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take it back. Keep the right knee up. Open up, warrior two, sinking into the left knee, gazing over the left fingers. Holding it just for a breath. And now move into five-pointed star, reach up. Maybe push the hips forward, take a little tiny backward bend this time. Take it back to center, hands in prayer. Bend the right knee, pop the left heel. Be kind to your body. One side might feel nicer, kinder <laughs> than the other. Take it to the back of the mat. Move it into runner's lunge. Left hand down, I'll float the right arm. Step back into your high plank. Remember, you can skip the vinyasa if you need to. Just meet us in downward facing dog. We're all gonna be there. Hip side, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg, here we go. Same leg, same leg, top of the mat. Inhale, high lunge. Get there any way you need to. Reach up. Pull the arms back, pop the chest through for arrow. Lift the right knee, standing staff. Warrior three. Standing staff. Release the arms, move through water dancer times three. Heel and arms, reach back. Inhale up. Lift it up. Open the knee, move into warrior two. Five-pointed star. Bring the hands to heart center. Pop that right knee down. Pop the left toe up. Take it to the top of the mat. Runner's lunge. Take the twist. Step back. Hold your high plank. Inhale down. Facing down. Take a breath. No cheddar. Inhale to move into floating table. Just drop the knees, let them hover off the mat. Let them hover. Bring the toes and heels together, push the knees to the outside edges of the mat. Bring yourself into a wide leg child's pose, rest the forehead on the earth. Take a breath, grab some water. side. Skip it if you need to. Take a seated position. Um, we'll get through it pretty quick and then we'll start to cool down. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. I'm hoping to just cue the right side and you move through it on the left. Take a deep breath, take the right leg all the way up high to the sky. Gaze forward, step into high lunge, reach up. Arrow. Standing staff. Warrior three. 
standing staff. Just one set of water dancer. Kick that heel back, arms back. Bring the left knee through center. Open up. Warrior two. High-pointed star. Sink into the left knee. Pop the right heel. Runner's lunge. Back of the mat. Take the twist. So here's the add. Here's the add. Take the twist. Push into the right hand, bring the left hand back, step into side plank. Take it up. Maybe bring the left arm all the way up over the head. Take it back into your high plank, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Take the left leg to the top of the mat. High lunge. Do you know it? Can you move through it? I'm just going to say it. Arrow. Standing staff. Warrior three. Standing staff. One time water dancer. Warrior two. Five-pointed star, Skandasana, runner's lunge, take the twist, side plank, full plank, downward facing down. Hold your thumb. Inhale, floating table. Drop the knees down. Take the toes to the outside edges of the mat. Push your hands back, drop the heels down, move into Malasana Stela. Two more breaths. Now just drop the sit bones back behind you. Straighten out the legs. So seated staff. As if somebody had their fingers on the front of your shoulders, lift your shoulders up and roll them out and roll them back. Just bring the hands down by your hips. No pressure on the hands. Activate the legs by pulling the toes back, so flexing the feet. Close your eyes, just stay tall. Bend the right knee, pull the right heel back. Take this nice, tight grip, so grab your elbows, maybe you can get that grip so tight you can touch your shoulders. Flex the left foot, lift the left heel up. So just float the left heel up a couple of inches off the mat. Float it up, float it up, float it up, and release. Bring the right hand back, take the twist in the side body, in the spine, gazing over the right shoulder, smiling. Pull that right knee in. Breathe. And release. Extend the right leg. Take yourself tall for a moment. Again, pull the shoulder blades up, out, and back. So just shining that bright light that is within your heart through. Activate the feet. Take yourself to the breath. And then bend the left knee. Give yourself that beautiful bear hug. Pull the left knee, heel all the way back in. Go tight, go tight. Grab the elbows, the shoulders. Round the spine for a moment as you're in compression. 
and an inhale, gaze forward, flex the right foot, lift the right leg up. I'm playing this tune for all my Club Sports San Jose friends. Drop that right heel down. Pull that left knee into the chest, gaze over the left shoulder. You might even want to move your belly out of the way and then pull the knee in. This is a love song. We all need love right now. On the next breath, just take it through center, come out of the twist, extend the left leg. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Sit up nice and tall. Bring the arms forward. Now round the spine. Take your time lowering yourself all the way down to the mat. And when you get about halfway down, extend the right leg. Reach underneath the hamstring. Flex the foot and hold it. Just hold it. Can you lower yourself any more? And release, come up. Aha. <laughs> I even thought we were moving into Shavasana. <laughs> Round the spine, tuck the chin just a little bit, start to lean back. And when you get about halfway down, push into the right foot and lift the left leg up off the mat. Straightening the left leg, flex the left foot. Just getting deep inside the core. And release, come out. Lean back, lift both legs up. This is half boat. If you want to take it into a full boat, do this. You can grab the back of your legs if you want to. Just one breath. Drop the heels down. Roll yourself all the way down to the mat. Open the feet as wide as the mat. Tuck the chin to the chest. Bring the arms out to the side like the letter T. And without moving the feet, drop both the knees to the right like windshield wipers, which you'll need if you go outside today. But maybe stay home. Maybe dedicate this day to staying home. Maybe dedicate this day to finding that space in your home which you can practice yoga that feels good. Meditate, read, just a quiet corner anywhere in your space. Inhale to take the knees through center, drop both the knees to the left. Inhale to bring the knees back to center, lift the legs up. Grab underneath the kneecaps, round the spine, and see if you can pull the knees to the shoulders and the head through your legs. And then move into happy baby, rock side to side. And then as always, honor your practice by dedicating a moment, maybe a minute, to explore any asana that you need to round out your practice or anything that just feels good. Slowly take the legs long. You can open your feet as wide as the mat if you want to. Maybe rock side to side. Re-engage the long spine by tucking the chin to the neck and then relaxing the shoulders. Open the arms wider than the mat to feel your full shoulder blades, back of the arms, back of the forearms, wrists on the floor, palms open to the sky. Palms open to the sky, heart open. Mind open. Just falling into your Shavasana. 
honoring your practice by just taking a few moments here. the next inhale, start to find some length and some space in your inhalation by taking a deeper breath to awaken the body. Maybe open the mouth side out. Deep, full inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth just side out. On the next inhale, softly bend the knees. Roll over to the right. Support your head and neck with your arm. Let's take a moment there. And then when you're ready, give yourself a little push to the top of the mat. Come into a seated position and maybe keep your eyes closed as you make this move, this transition, up to the top of the yoga mat, center your mat. Keeping the palms open, relax the legs. Bring the hands to heart center in prayer. You're courageous, compassionate, loving, and kind. And that's all we really need to be right now. We need to be this way for ourselves, so we can be this way for our loved ones, so we can illuminate out into the world to strangers. Practicing yoga is universal, and the vibration, even though you're practicing home alone, is so powerful when we come together on any platform to allow our hearts to align, the light to shine, the power to be strong and positive and energetic and beautiful and compassionate and kind and loving. Bring the thumbs to your forehead as you honor right thoughts and the fingers to the lips as you honor and speak with kind words and the hands to your heart as you move through this day and each day with right intentions. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up for others. May you be safe and well and full of peace as you move through the rest of your day. We give much gratitude to each other, to ourselves, to transitions in the world, in our life, and in our practice by honoring the divine spirit that is in, within each of us. Namaste. I know I'm such a baby, I want to cry all the time. <laughs> Being emotional is a beautiful thing. Thank you guys for showing up. It's such a pleasure. I'll see you Wednesday at 5 o'clock uh, for live yoga as well. Stay
Stay inside, be safe, stay alive.